With the obvious exception of Earth, no other planet has a more complete set of high-resolution satellite images than Mars. They have been used to lead Perseverance to interesting exploration targets, but sometimes they can be misleading. On this episode of Mars Guy, even before the space age, views of Mars have been misinterpreted. Astronomer Percival Lowell built an observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona in 1894 to investigate the intriguing lines crisscrossing the surface of Mars reported by an Italian astronomer. Lowell mapped even more lines and concluded that they were canals built by a civilization of Martians to deliver water from the polar ice caps to equatorial regions. Most astronomers of the time did not recognize such features, and it remains debated what Lowell was actually seeing. With the advent of spacecraft sent to Mars, the idea of Martian canals was firmly debunked, but new features emerged that captured the imagination of the public. A modest resolution image of landforms in the Cydonia region led to the interpretation of a humanoid face carved in rock by a long-gone Martian civilization. A multitude of books and movies followed over the years, all built upon the misguided interpretation of an image without sufficient resolution to support such an extraordinary claim. Subsequent higher-resolution images revealed an interesting but totally natural eroded mesa, one of many in the area. Images from the highest resolution camera ever sent to orbit Mars were critical for selecting Jezero Crater as the landing site for Perseverance and for planning its exploration route. High-rise images can resolve rocks as small as a basketball and have revealed terrain so intriguing that Perseverance was sent to investigate it. In this case, the even higher resolution cameras aboard Perseverance revealed a rock with a texture that hints at a possible microbial origin, a clear win for high-rise guided exploration. From here, the long-range plan for Perseverance was to climb the rim of Jezero Crater and descend the other side to a location dubbed Witch Hazel Hill. The high-rise image here shows bands of lighter and darker material interpreted as layers of sedimentary rock, perhaps deposited during the warmer and wetter early history of Mars, and uplifted by the Jezero Crater impact event. After months of anticipation, Perseverance finally arrived in a prime location to investigate the layers. This was just after it managed to seal the sample tube containing the intriguing serpentine-rich rock that I reported on in the previous few episodes. That sample can now be returned to Earth if the mission is approved. Here's the view on the ground, and here's Mars Guy for scale. This scene includes some of the best examples of what appeared from orbit to be layers, but on the ground there's just a mix of the smoother bands of light-toned outcrop and darker bands of sand and gravel. At this point it's not clear what's causing the darker material to collect into bands, but it doesn't appear to represent a distinct rock layer. Perseverance deployed its arm to take a closer look at the light-toned outcrop, including using its abrading bit to create a smooth and fresh surface for the science instruments to investigate. This led to major damage of the rock, evidence that it's relatively weak material. In the process, another example of the long-recognized mysterious purple coating was revealed under a layer of dust. Regarding the challenge of interpreting Mars from orbit, I can't say we won't get fooled again, but I'll smile and grin knowing that science is self-correcting. <laughs>